uh, I'm about to go pick up the uh, Grey Wolf T 29 TE. Uh, I'm currently pulling my other vehicle over to the dealership right now. A little nervous about the length of it. I will it fit in the driveway, hopefully. Uh, the weight's good for my vehicle, so I'm not too nervous about that, but obviously I'm not used to pulling something that big, so we'll see how this goes. I'm nervous, but not afraid. I can handle it. <laughs> so we're super pumped, super excited. Uh, I can't wait to uh, get a short video to put together so you guys can take a look at it. Check out now, I'm driving. She's somewhere over there, y'all. AC Nelson. All right, though, y'all, this is it. Like I told you, I was going to pick up the 2021 29TE Grey Wolf. It's a Cherokee brand by River Forest. Uh, let me tell you around. So well, first we'll start off. Uh, this is a big upgrade for me. I got the power tongue jack. Thank God, I ain't twisting it no more. Uh, double tanks and a marine-sized battery. Um, a couple other things. I like this right here. I don't know. It's a little caddy for everything when you're not using them. Anyways, I had to upgrade to a 10,000 pound um, sway bar weight distributor, uh, which was $700. I'll put the link in the description. Um, cool upgrade with this here is that it's got the electric stabilizing jacks. You push a button, they drop down, they stabilize it, they level it. Um, it's a lot easier uh, than going around from uh, jack to jack and using a drill to you know, put it down and even it out. And, you know, if you get that weight um, balanced, it could put some strain on the chassis. So it is nice to have that. I've uh, got the shower, city water connection, fresh water connection. I like they upgraded this door. The other door was super flimsy. Oops. This is a little bit better. Um, they also no longer have the actual rod that goes in there, which was really weird and gross and started to disintegrate. It's only a year, but hey, they upgraded that, I like it. Uh, I'll take it around back here. It has the slide out, it's one large slide out. You can see this thing is long. It's uh, 36.8 feet from my garage and <laughs> in the street. Uh, anyway, so cool thing here, got the cable hook up on the back. Nice little extra light in case you're dumping at night. The dump station is in the middle of the unit, which is different than um, it was on the other one, which was on the end, uh, the 16 DHS. Nice long slide out. Some under storage. This is under one of the bunks, and I'll show you on the inside. There. Kids emergency exit window. Uh, it's nice, I'm not gonna tell them, but this does open and swings out uh, where they can get some nice cross breeds in that back bunkhouse room, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, runs off the 30 amp. I honestly thought it was gonna be the 50. Uh, as much uh, power as we got running through this thing, but it does have these um, solar trickle charge to the battery, which is really convenient because the fridge, and I'll show you that in a moment, runs off of 12 volts. Has a reverse camera, digging that, digging it. I can back right up to this thing, not ask anybody to be watching for me. That's a drop down gate. Now at the dealership, the gentleman told me that is just for looks. I don't get it. You can't ride with it down. Um, he said it's an extra spot for putting a grill when you're at the campsite. Pass. And I'm gonna show you why I would pass on that. This right here. What is behind door number one? Let's take a look. It's got way too many hooks on hand, but hey. No 
open. And dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Karina's dream outdoor kitchen. I made it happen. I made it happen. All right, check this out. Refrigerator, double sided. Freezer and fridge. Outdoors. I'm not gonna wake the kids up when I'm gonna go inside and get a beer. I'm coming right here. Check this out. An ice maker. What? An ice maker. Nice fridge. Cabinet space. Grab a snack. Don't gotta drag any dirt inside. Got these in outdoor lights. Really nice. Check this out. Wake up. Let me fry up some bacon and not stink up the whole trailer. I'm gonna fry it up right here. It's run off propane. It's got the attachment here, which plugs in down there. Nice size for this overhead unit. Runs off of these arms. The upgraded gray will limited went with these doors. Really nice. Got that smoke black. You can see here as it does have a window. Going further down is the marine speaker up there. Place for our television. This is the Black Tank Plus, which is very convenient. On my last one, didn't have it. Um, had to go and clean it through the actual drain station. Now I can come to the back here, plug it in, flush it out. And all these are ran off of GFCIs, which are protected. So if one switches all of these, they're gonna turn off protecting the unit. Another spot for a cable hookup. A speaker. Got the 12 volt power awning, which is a thinner one than my last one. I guess it doesn't need to be that thick. If you're not out, roll it up. We got the base camp package, which included um, some extra features, chairs and whatnot. And we have an extra entrance. Um, this is, has the different style stairs than the other, but this is access into the bathroom which is convenient when you're out, kids are sleeping. You wanna run in and use the restroom. It's more under storage. Which goes, you can see it goes pretty deep. All right, let's go around. That's the exterior. Let's go take a look inside. You can have it on, you can have it off. I like it. Some like it off. Let's see what it looks like off. Still a very cool look in here without it on. But yeah, I'm a little modern. I like that modern look. Industry's largest U-shaped dinette. This was a big piece for us. We eat. My wife cooks, she's great at it, and me and the boys are eat, and we're great at it. Um, this is something that we wanted. The other unit, if you recall, you could fit two small children at. This, the whole family is it, man. For me, this was important. Um, in our other one, I was sitting at that small dinette, watching the TV, and it was uncomfortable. I needed somewhere we could come in, sit down, kick back, and relax. Good thing with both of these things here is that this folds down into a nice size bed for a bigger adult. And this thing does as well. It's a jackknife couch. And that's what it looks like when it's down. Very comfortable material. I know I'd be comfortable rather than sleeping in a tent. Somebody off at this point. Alright, got it back up. Alright, got it back up. 
um, spinning around here. I put this TV in, it is a 32 inch um, smart TV. Uh, has the Roku, Roku TV, not smart TV, which pretty cool. Um, I got it an added uh, Bluetooth emitter that runs over through the speakers in the ceiling so it can have that nice, not quite theater sound, but it sounds a little bit better than a TV. Um, I went and picked up this fireplace, which probably one of the best buys I've gotten in a while. A young gentleman was selling it for 50 bucks. Comes with a remote, it emits a massive amount of heat from the top. Uh, you can change the background colors, you can change the color of the flame, you can change the color of the coals. Really good buy. All right, let's move on. This supposed to be talking about the camera. Anyhow, um, this here, look at this pantry. Ridiculous. I mean, we could live in here. Look at all that space. I'm sure we'll fill it up. Uh, Karina's good at buying stuff. Uh, but yes. Uh, moving on to this refrigerator. Uh, 12 cubic feet. Huge. Freezer. And huge fridge. Like I was telling you earlier, this thing runs off of 12 volts, so it can run off the battery, which is great because I have that solar power trickle charger, which powers the battery, so if we ever were boondocking, this fridge will not, will not shut off, so our stuff will be safe in there. Um, got a microwave, nice overhead, which blows to the outside. Uh, this is kind of cool, it's a bamboo cutting board. Uh, it's got magnets, which just allow it to kind of snap right down there. Ignore this, this is the front of that. But I chose to go with the glass. I think it looks better than having this gray on it. Tell me what you think down below. I won't change it, but I'll at least know what you think. All right, then we got the three burner stove. <laughs> In a camper, yes, this is a camper. Woo. This folds down for extra counter space. There's a dial, it's kind of cool, got a little blue accents to it like the rest of the place. And this one has a freaking stove, y'all. A stove. Um, last camping trip I went on, my sister has one similar. Had a stove, she made biscuits. Biscuits on a campsite. That's, it was great. It's like bacon, eggs, and biscuits. It makes sense. All right, moving on. So we got some nice lights up here. Ah, had some really, it gets bright in here, you guys. I mean, think about this. You had the campsite coming in and relaxing. This isn't, I'm not talking about relaxing where you're sitting on top of each other like we were. This is like you have a hotel room on the campsite. Go out to the lake in the middle of the night. Peaceful, calm, nice. All right, anyhow. Look at this. So glass door. Big space up here. Another window. Love this as it comes off and sprays the kit. So I'm just getting sprays. And when you clean it up. And it has that farm style sink, which is beautiful. And a replaceable for more countertop space. Uh, plenty of drawers. Drawers is something we were missing in the last one, um, which we made work because we had cabinets and we bought different things to help organize and space out things. But now we don't. Um, a spot for a garbage. That was another thing that we were missing. We had to reach outside every time we wanted to throw something away. It's not fun when it's the when it's nighttime and there are moths and bugs and mosquitoes attacking you as you're trying to throw out the trash. Um, this thing has a heater which blows the heat out this way. I love that. And then also as I'll show you in the bathroom as well. 
Uh, here is the master control center. Uh, slide out, the awning, the slide lights, lights, the heater, awning lights. If you're boondocking, you use these two. Um, whereas it's the water pump and the water heater ran off of purely electric, I mean propane. Uh, if you want to check the levels, battery, fresh tank, black tank, gray tank. Uh, this controls the music. Let's see if we can get something playing here. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I like my sound, as anyone would, any of you would know from my truck. Yeah, <laughs> but I had to go ahead and throw in the upgrades in the speakers, which definitely sound really good. And this unit already came with a sub, which was something that was uh, a surprise to me. I didn't know that. Okay, apparently, it's the upgraded package, so it has a sub built into the ceiling there. All right, let me show you the reason we felt we needed to upgrade. Y'all ready for this? Uh, aside from this, this was very important. But number, this was a close second. But a very, very first number one is this. Yes. Get in your room. You know what I'm saying, parents. You know what I'm saying. But Dante Donovan, Denzel, as they grow over the years, there's plenty of room back here. I put in a little TV for them. It's a smart TV. Probably can hook up the switch, be back here, relaxing. When one gets crazy, you know, they're, I'm high, go in your room. You know how it goes. Love them to death, but at least they have their own spot. Close. All right, let's keep going. Keep coming. This thing is long. I tried to tell you guys earlier, it's long. Um, really cool shades, obviously. Uh, I'm not gonna call it floor to ceiling windows, but it's pretty close. There's my baby. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ah, she's pretty. Yeah, she's pulling this thing too. This thing weighs, uh, what is it? It was 676 and that is, um, with uh, everything filled. Dry weight is like 68, and my truck pulls 85. All right, let's move on. What's behind door number two? Oh, it's a beautiful bathroom. First, let me show you this sink. Love it. Backsplash. I like this. Has a switch, y'all. On the bathroom, switching on came with this door. This is the reason they call it the TE. It's the triple entry, which is into the bathroom. There's a door here, a door here, and a door here. What's great about that is at any point during your camping trip, you can um, come and go without disturbing others. All right, so this has a pretty large um, medicine cabinet, which is great, with a mirror to get ready, right? The upgraded exhaust fan which is you know powerful and for potent situations and uh yes you can see out but guess what you saw those black doors when we were on the outside you can't see in it's beautiful it has a screen i don't know why maybe you need to freshen out the area open the door have just a screen bam i want to show you guys something though check out this shower it's a stand up and that's one of the good things with, I mean, when you have like a middle bathroom as opposed to a bathroom that's on the back side of your trailer, back sides usually have that where it's a little bit of a tub. This, it gave you the opportunity to put in a stand up quarter shower. And these are pretty cool. Check this out. This slides effortlessly. All right, let's go check out what's behind this door. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, mom and dad's room. Yes, a room. What, you wanna keep sleeping? Go ahead, keep sleeping. We'll be out here making breakfast, watching some TV, maybe some news, throw on some coffee. Mama can crash, go ahead, nobody bothers. 
Uh, cool thing, light there and light there and light there. Obviously when we're reading at night, have that light on, just reach up, pow, turn it off. Um, this thing has a hookup for a television, which will happen. Just didn't get it yet. Um, with a hookup for the coax, which gets local channels. And if you have a smart TV, it's connecting to whatever Wi-Fi uh, enabled devices are, that you have. Uh, another cool thing, we have a place to hang clothes up. Uh, not too often you wanted a fresh, crispy suit on the campground but uh there may be something that you might get used for out of uh, hanging up some of your clothes you know we just usually have it folded and throw it on as t-shirts and shorts you know what i'm saying all right got this side too big overhead space uh-huh which is similar to the other one that we had um but these are new and i love them okay forced air to blow down on us nice and cool and the cool thing about that too once you turn on that ac because it has the forced air through this vent and three others the whole thing cools down pretty quick um i believe it's a thirty thousand btu unit which is pretty strong uh but when everything's closed up this thing gets hot um so we came in through this door if you guys recall let me close it and we can exit out this door. <laughs> There's two of them. This camper is so long, it has a hallway. This camper has a hallway, God. Yeah, let me come down this camper. I just bought this rug. Karina loves it, I love it. The matches, it's a little manly, but the whole thing really is. It's kind of got that modern look and you know, she loves me enough to let me have what I want when it comes to the design quirks, uh, such as this little clock I put in. Isn't that thing nice? Yeah. yeah oh, here, check this out. It has... a skylight. Are you kidding me? A freaking skylight. Anyways, um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me babble on about what I got, what I like to get, what I think of when I'm thinking of getting a new unit that's going to accommodate the size of my family. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Drop some comments down below. What did you like? Um... What questions do you have? Are you planning on purchasing? What if, What was my buying situation like? Uh, anything along those lines, I'm happy to answer those questions. Uh, it's affordable. It's a lot more affordable than you guys would think. Um, so I would not uh, shy away from if you have the ability to first of all tow it, uh, but afford it as well as, you know, there's a lot of things going on in the world today. And, um, you know, it, it, sometimes it's, you just have to have those special things that make life a little bit more enjoyable. So this is for us. It might not be for everybody, but this is what does it for us. We enjoy it and we don't just use it for camping. We have it, this is in my driveway and I come out here watching television. Well, my baby Karina, she works on her homework because she's a hard working mother and student and teacher um, and comes out here and works while we just relax and uh, have a good time.